Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you a mixed media altered bottle project. For this project I am using a builder's PVA glue which I got from the hardware shop and I have watered it down with water and I am using tissue paper which I am gluing onto the bottle and wrinkling it as I go. Just to say that the PVA builder's glue is exactly the same as craft PVA glue but you can buy it in bigger bottles and it's a lot cheaper. I then add a layer of glue over the top of the tissue paper. So this is the next day and the bottle has all dried and it is now ready for painting. I'm going to use my white gesso primer and I'm going to paint the whole of the bottle. Next I am going to use my Versafine ink pad to stamp my image onto some tissue paper. At first I thought it would be a good idea to emboss the image, which you'll see later doesn't quite work out. So as you can see the heat emboss did work but I thought that it lost quite a lot of the detail in the stamped image even though it is the very fine emboss powder so I'm just going to stamp the image again without heat embossing it afterwards. Now that the gesso has all dried, I am now using my purple metallic paint and I'm going to use two coats of this purple all over the bottle. I'm now using my Versafine Onyx Black ink pad again and I'm going to be using a flower stamp from the Phil Martin Blossom Flower Layers. Mm -hmm. 
Next I use my Wilted Violet Distress Ink and at first I thought I was just going to brush it on with a paintbrush but it didn't look vibrant enough so I decided to use my blending tool to put the colour onto the flowers. Once these had all dried, I then used my Distress Glaze over the top of my flowers. I'm using this because it is going to be a window display and I do not want the Distress Ink to fade over time. I then cut each flower out and I'm using my Faber Cascal Pitts Pen Dark Sepia to go around the outside edge of all my flowers. This covers up the white parts and makes your flower look a lot neater. I am now going to use my bone folder to give the flower petals some shape. I'm just using a water brush to tear off the edges of my tissue paper. I am now using my matte gel to stick my image to my bottle. And as you can see, this is where it starts going a bit wrong and I start ripping the image and in the end I just give up and take it all off again. Okay, so here I'm trying again with my matte gel to stick my stamped image on the tissue paper onto the bottle. This time I actually manage it without ripping it, but once it's dried, you can't really see the stamped image because of the paint underneath. So I then try a different approach, which I will show you in a moment. So I am now stamping the image again onto white cardstock. I am just using my heat tool to help dry the ink out. Thank you. 
I am now going to use my vintage photo distress ink to go over the top of my image. As I'm doing this, I realise that the actual colour of the ink is a bit too dark, which is why I'm glad I stamped out two images because I then use my antique linen distress ink to go over the second image. I then use my matte gel to stick my image to the bottle but it isn't quite strong enough for the cardstock so in the end I use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the image to the bottle. I then use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue again to stick my flowers to my bottle but don't worry I won't make you sit through the whole process and there you can see that it's all finished, all the flowers are stuck to the bottle. I then use a piece of white tulle which is a very fine kind of netting material to decorate my bottle. I'm now using the Phil Martin sentiment stamps and tags. I am using my antique linen distress ink to go over the top of the tag to make it the same colour as the image on my bottle. I am now going to use my eyelet tool kit which you make a hole in the card and then stick an eyelet in, 
use the eyelet setter on the back and there you have one eyelet in your card. I then use some string to decorate the top and to hang the tag onto the bottle. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.